With Starship its Rates at Checkout feature, you've got full control over the shipping rates which display in your checkout, enabling you to optimize your shipping strategy and checkout experience. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to configure live shipping rates that pull real-time costs from your carrier, how to set up flat rates or table rates for a more predictable shipping cost structure, how to use checkout rules to customize how, when, and what rates are displayed, giving you full control of your checkout experience. So by the end of this guide, you'll have a seamless shipping rate setup that improves customer confidence and increases conversion rates. Let's get started. By default, rates at checkout will be based on the weight, dimensions, and destination of the cart. You can use our checkout rules engine to further configure your checkout rate settings. For example, you could set up rules to automatically cover your shipping surcharges, apply free shipping, or assign specific carriers to orders that contain dangerous goods. We'll get into this later in the video. Starship it supports rates at checkout whether it's the exact rate provided by the carrier, the live rate, or a rate that you determine, the table rate. Head to Settings, Checkout Rates, Settings. From the Weight and Dimensions section, select how you would like your rates to be calculated. You've got a few options here. Single package using sum of integration item weights. This means the rate will be based on the total weight of all the items in the cart being sent in a single package. Single package using sum of integration item weights and dimensions. The rate will be based on a singular package with the added dimensions and weight of all items in the cart. Note this is only supported for WooCommerce, Magento 1 and Magento 2. Single package using default package weight and default dimensions. The rate will use the weight and dimensions of the package you have selected as your default. Unique package for each item using integration item weight and item dimensions. The rate will be calculated with one package per item in the cart using both the item's weight and dimensions. Note this is only supported for WooCommerce and Magento 2. Navigate to Settings, Checkout Rates. Navigate to the Courier Configuration tab. Click Add New Shipping option. Select the carrier and product. Now let's run through the options here. First of all, display name. By default, when left empty, Starship it will use the carrier's service name, for example DHL Express Shipping. However, if required, you can rename it to something more user-friendly, like Express Shipping. Margin. Margins allow you to adjust the final shipping rate which displays to your customers. You can increase the rate, for example adding a handling fee, or decrease it offering a discount. There's two margin types, flat fee, which adds or subtracts a fixed amount, for example a contract rate of $5, percentage, which adjusts the price by a percentage, for example a contract rate of 5%. These are useful for businesses looking to offset costs, apply handling fees, or offer competitive shipping rates. Estimated transit time. The estimated transit time provides an expected delivery time frame for shipments using the service. For DHL and Australia Post, Transit times can be retrieved dynamically. For other carriers, you can manually set these transit times. Display start and end time. Display time lets you control the visibility of shipping options based on time constraints. For example, if your carrier has a cutoff time, you can hide same day delivery after 1 p.m. Groups. Groups allow you to categorize similar shipping services from different carriers, helping to identify and organize them for a better user experience at checkout. Why would you use this? Well, if multiple carriers offer the same type of service, for example express shipping, grouping ensures they're displayed under a single option. So instead of showing DHL Express and FedEx Priority separately, for example, you can group them as express shipping. This helps customers compare shipping rates and transit times for similar services from different carriers, making it easier for them to choose the best option. If you want to use a group, create a new one by selecting Add New Group in the Checkout Settings page. Once created, Services can be assigned to a group when adding a new shipping option. Click Save to confirm the new option. A failover rate is a flat rate you can enable which will be displayed on checkout in the event that the selected carrier doesn't return a rate for the address that's put in by the customer. This can be helpful when carriers experience a temporary outage or if the customer enters an invalid address that the courier doesn't recognize. Go to Settings, Checkout Rates, Carrier Configuration. Click Add New Shipping option. Select the carrier. In the product dropdown, select Failover, Domestic or International. Set the margin value to determine the fallback rate, and click Save to enable the failover rate. 
Table rate shipping allows you to manually set shipping costs based on the location and weight of an order, which you can display at checkout instead of real-time carrier rates. This also gives you flexibility, so you can choose between real-time carrier rates or table rates, determined by factors such as destination, weight, order value, or the number of items in an order through our customizable checkout rules engine. This means you can offer competitive and predictable shipping prices, enhancing your customer experience with clear, reliable, and cost-effective shipping options. Now they get to settings, checkout rates, courier configuration, click add new shipping option, select the carrier, in the product dropdown, select table rate. To configure table rates, Starship gives you the flexibility to set these up in a matrix based on location and weight. For 5 to 5 here, that means up to 5kg will be $5, 10 to 10, over 5kg to 10kg, $10, 20 to 15, over 10kg to 20kg, $15. Optional, tick set table rates as default to prioritize table rates over contract rates. Click save to finalize the setup. We've also got a guide linked in the video description which covers this in more detail. Once you've configured your live rates, you may want to test how the rates will display on a checkout. Starship it supplies a checkout rates tool where you can check what rates are returned based on a test address and specified item weight. To use this tool, go to settings, checkout rates, tools. Enter the country you'd like to test. The rest of the address can be auto completed when using the street field. Enter in the weight of the cart, taking note of the unit needed. Click Get Rates. You'll see what rates are returned based on the criteria provided. From here, you can tweak your configuration as needed. At the last part of this video, we're going to take a closer look at our Rules for Checkout Rates feature. This helps you optimize your checkout experience even further, and here's how you use it. Let's take an example. Not all couriers will deliver to PO boxes, so you might want to set up a rule which says that if an address includes a PO box, then remove the carriers that won't deliver to them from the checkout options. Or, you may have a customer who selects express shipping at checkout, in which case you might have a rule that automatically allocates all express shipping orders to a certain carrier. To set up a rule, go to Settings, Checkout Rates, then Rules. Select Add New Rule. Choose the condition or conditions that you'd like the rule to apply in, for example, by destination state or order value. Select the action you want to take effect, for example, Set carriers for checkout, which will only display the selected carrier options on the checkout. Click save. You can test your rate configuration in the same way as you would for table rates or live rates. And that wraps up our checkout rates tutorial video. Take a look at the guides linked in the video description for more helpful tips, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and tutorials.